Hey beloveds, welcome to Beanie TV, where I teach you how to mind your own blissness. So today we are going to be talking about Saturn's return, what it is, when it happens, why it happens, and my own personal experience with it. But first, you already know we got to get into today's affirmation. So go ahead and close your eyes, take a deep breath in, release. I allow myself to listen to the whispers from the universe. I allow myself to listen to the whispers from the universe. I allow myself to listen to the whispers from the universe. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Release. Okay, so what is Saturn's return? Saturn's return is when the planet Saturn returns to its position in your birth chart. So if you know your birth chart, or if you don't know your birth chart, you can find out through apps like CoStar and The Pattern and um, astrologycafe.com. You have to know what time you were born in order to get a really accurate birth chart. So Saturn is the teacher. Saturn is more masculine. Saturn is the one that literally whips you into shape. So when Saturn starts to come back into its placement in your chart, your life gets turned upside down. And not enough people talk about it, but we see it all the time. We see it happen with celebrities all the time where they're like, good, good, good. And then all of a sudden they hit their end of their 20s and it's like, what is going on? Or you see people getting to their 60s and you're like, what is that person on? It's the Saturn's return. The Saturn's return is from the ages of about 27 and a half to about 31. So from 27 to 31, what's basically happening is that source is undoing and having you unlearn everything that you've been taught so that you can become who you are truly destined to be, who source needs to be through you. It is a very painful time of your life. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. It is very painful and everyone must go through it. We are all here for a reason and we are all meant to be who source intended us to be. But first, we gotta get our asses kicked. So personally for me, uh, my Saturn's return started at 27 and a half and thank Jesus, it is about to be over this December. I'm now 31, it's about to be over this December. During my Saturn's return, I was also having my spiritual awakening. This can be the case for some people, but not everybody. So for me, I'm, I'm having a spiritual, another spiritual awakening. I had my first one at the age of 19, 20. And um, so I'm having my second spiritual awakening, my second leveling up of consciousness, as well as Saturn's return. So your girl has been going through it. So um, it started off, uh, I was working for a terrible manager at a terrible job with a terrible company. And that was teaching me, I don't need a boss. I don't, I need to work for myself. I do not deserve this toxic energy in my life. And then my grandma passed away. And that was really, really traumatic and really um, shocked me. And when my grandma passed away, my rose colored glasses came off and I started to see family members and life in a completely different way. So my grandma's death was my rebirth. And um, Saturn was basically having me not be illusioned anymore that I really don't need um, the people that I thought I needed. I, me and my best friend are no longer best friends. And that was really hurtful for me. Um, and again, this occurred as I was going through my grieving process from my grandma. So a lot of the friends that I used to have, um, all of those friendships dissipated and they dissipated so that new friends could come in so that new energy could come in. Um, at one point, my body was breaking out into hives every time I was having any emotion. That was my body telling me, you have too much stuff inside of you. You have to get it out. And I, and that was teaching me that I need to embrace my emotions. Sorry if the light is flickering. Um, if you can see it on camera, I'm not sure. But anyway, 
And that was telling me I need to embrace being emotional. I need to embrace being sensitive. I need to embrace being delicate because if I don't, my body is, is attacking itself through me breaking out in hives. Um, I ended up getting a job at one of the lowest places that I could, it was one of the lowest times of my life. And I had a, a, a an emotional breakdown at work. And I was only at that job for four months. And what that taught me again was know your worth, know your value. And if something doesn't feel right, it's not right. Trust yourself. And I recently just ended a relationship that I really thought, you know, was going to go forever and i thought this person was going to be my husband and that was very disappointing and what i learned from that was again trust yourself and increase your standards you know what you want believe yourself so during saturn's return there are going to be some really shitty things happening but as i explained every god works everything out for our good so no matter how painful it is good is coming out of it so some ways to care for yourself from the ages of 27 and a half to 31, um, you really, really have to increase your self-care and your nurturing. This is a time for you to really under understand yourself. Yes, you can call a friend. Yes, you can, you know, ask your ask people around you to help you, but this is really a solo mission. You are the only one that can heal you. No one is coming to save you. No one can do the work for you. So this is really all you and yourself. So, so I nurtured myself through Epsom salt baths using Dr. Teal's magnesium salt baths. When I'm in that bath, I play a gentle, gentle music or a gentle podcast. And I just let God talk to me and I cry and I let it out. Journaling writing out your feelings sometimes i used to i'm journaling and i get so mad that i rip up the page but it's good because it gets the emotion out journaling allows you to get these thoughts that can sometimes get clogged up in your mind to paper and when you write and when pen comes to paper it creates magic that's a healing process if you're at a point where you are really really angry punch a pillow this works tremendously or if you're feeling agitated and you have no idea why punch a pillow, punch the pillow, punch the pillow, and then spirit will reveal to you why you're angry, and then you can bring it to the light. Um, I highly recommend being in nature. Being in nature is really, really replenishing. You have to remember nature is in abundance. God is in nature. So when you go into nature, you are healing yourself. You are replenishing yourself. The angels can talk to you, look around and see what animals come about. For me, deers love to come out whenever I'm out in nature. And deer represents uniqueness. It represents originality. It rep it, it's um, a, my spirit animal, which lets me know it's okay to be different. Going out in nature is gonna help you a lot. So the days, and sometimes you can just go outside and sit. You don't have to walk, you don't have to exercise. Just sit down and just be is to do all the things that make you feel good. You know, of course, never anything in excess, but some things that I've been doing, I bought myself a turntable and some Bluetooth speakers and Bob Marley records. Bob Marley music is at a very high frequency and it really helps me out a lot. I love buying wellness products. I love buying um, luxury products to make me feel taken care of, nurtured. The most important thing you have to remember, in my opinion, is that this is all happening for you. And I know how painful it is going to be, or it is, trust me, I know, but you have to cry, you have to let it out. And sometimes it's okay to be like, oh, you're going to Saturn's return. Oh, I'm going to Saturn's return. Like, you know, it's important to acknowledge where you are in your life, like what stage you're at. It happens when you're, again, this happens to you every 30 years it's important to know what's spiritually going on in your life because it can be a very confusing time if nobody like me is coming to you and letting you know what's going on thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video comment below if you are going through saturn's return or if you have been through it i would love to talk to you we can connect on that saturn's return because it is not a game boy 
it is not a game be sure to purchase my self-love e-course if you are looking to deepen your self-love if you're looking for waist beads and shea butter ethically sourced from ghana head over to salomeshea.com i almost didn't get that out <laughs> head over to salomeshea.com for all the beanie tv goodness be sure to follow me on instagram at beanie tv comment below like share and i'll see you guys next video